This video is part 2 of me making a please donate game inside of Roblox Studio. So please watch to the end to learn how to make your very own game. And before we begin, only a small percentage of my viewers are actually subscribed. So if you want to help me reach a thousand subscribers, please subscribe. It's free and you can always change your mind. Enjoy the video. Okay, so first thing you want to do is go to the start GUI inside the main frame. If you don't recognise any of this, it means you have missed part 1. And so you should definitely go and see that. Uh, it'll be there'll be a link in the description for the uh, playlist. So if you're inside frame, you might want to make this visible and add in a text box. This is going to be slot one, and um, you can just you can customize this as much as you want. And then if you just want to go down here and set this placeholder text to just like donation ID please. Just like that. And then set text to nothing. You might want to change the colour or something. To maybe like that. And then to scale. And now we're going to have um, a submit text button uh, here. This is if you want to name this submit like that. And then I'm going to just move this over to the to one side. Right, literally, I'm going to put it over over there. And then inside here, I'm just going to add in a local script. And it's going to be script dot parent dot mask by one click connect to function, and then local text equals script dot parent dot parent dot text. So that's the text button. Uh, sorry, the text box. And then local success comma error. Well, we can't do error, so let's do that. Then equals pgl function. Okay, so we're just going to add in inside this submit. We're going to add in a string value like that. I just let leave it empty. So script dot value. So put it inside the script. Sorry. So then script dot value dot value equals game dot marketplace service get product info text dot price in robux then end and then we'll just do if um, success then oops, then game sorry then if game dot marketplace service get info get product info text dot creator dot name equals equals game dot players dot local player dot name then game dot replicate storage dot edit fire server script dot parent dot parent dot name comma script dot parent dot parent dot text else and then we'll just go with this yeah. um yeah uh, else script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent dot message dot text equals make sure you created the item you are submitting just you know so they don't try sell someone else's work then obviously just wait three seconds the script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent dot message dot text equals nothing and then after the after this end we're gonna do else script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent dot message dot text equals ID isn't valid 
wait three seconds. Script dot parent dot parent dot parent dot parent dot message dot text equals. There we go. And we're actually going to change this value to an int value. And so get rid of the string value and then, yeah, and just set it to zero, that's fine. Okay, now we're just going to, um, just going to duplicate slot one and then just kind of move it to the bottom. So it's point, no, sorry, this should be point five. So in the middle, this isn't going to be another um, slot, which this is, which is going to be 0.25. There we go. Okay, now this we're just going to um, delete the local script in submit and set this as something else. This is going to be um, sign text. There we go. And now we're going to add a local script into submit. It's going to be script dot parent the must one click connect function local text equals script dot parent dot parent dot text and then game dot replicate storage dot edit fire server script dot parent dot parent dot name comma text there we go okay now we're going to go to the service script service and add a script and name it edit and we're going to type game dot replicate storage dot edit dot on server event connect to function player name id then for underscore stands in pairs game dot work oh. game dot workspace dot stands get coder and then yeah do if stands find first child vacant dot value equals equals player dot name then if name isn't equal to title which is what we're going to name this one yeah let's name this to title then local part equals stands find first child name local clone equals script dot proximity font clone then clone dot value dot value equals id clone dot parent equals part and then local success error equals pico function part dot surface gui dot text label dot text equals game dot marketplace service get product info ID dot price in Robux and then space. I guess we don't have to do space like that. Then that then that'd be an end. If not success, then game dot replicate storage dot error fire client player true else game dot replicate storage dot error fire client 
fire and false. Okay, now we're going to go down here. Else if name equals equals title, then local, then local part equals stands find first child name local filtered filtered message which is what we used for the name tag so game get service chat filter string for broadcast id player comma player And then part dot surf surface gui dot text label dot text equals filtered message and then yeah and then game dot replicate storage dot error fire client player false and there we go that's the end of that one uh, so we can just close out both of those scripts. Now we're going to add in a proximity prompt into edit. Oh, let's just look up proximity prompt. So let's set the action to donate. Set the max activation to like 5. Then add an int value to this proximity prompt. Set value to zero. Then add in in um, a script, like a script into proximity prompt and type script dot parent dot triggered connect function player if player then game get service marketplace service prompt purchase player script oh, screw, screw it dot parent dot value dot value then end end okay so we'll we'll try that out that should that should work and just to try um, make sure you have an ID ready uh, so I'm just gonna get one now and then we'll press play Okay, so I spawned in, I'll go claim this, there we go, my stand, I'll edit stand, and I'm going to add in this ID, submit, okay, make sure there's a piece of clothing, so I'll have a look at that, and then sign text, I'll do my stand, submit, there we go, and you can donate, okay, so there's just like a little error, so, okay, so you already own this, so there is a small error with the um I think the
Okay, so I've had a look through the script and it will just be there, but it completely works. So I think if we try again, it will it will still say it needs to be a bit of clothing, but you can buy it. So we'll go like that. Edit stand. Put in that. Submit. It will say this bit down here. My, my stand. Obviously, this is a bit you know for saying oh, I'm trying to make a game or something like that. But then, but then you can donate. Yeah. So you already own this item. So it would, it would, you know, so it doesn't matter what that says, it, this still works. So yeah, that is the end of this um, part two. If you want me to see, if you want to see a part three, please give me ideas of what you want in part three. Because to me, this game is pretty much finished. So if you want to see another video, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe. We're trying to hit a thousand subscribers. We're so close to 600 at the moment. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video. See ya.